St. Michelle Wine Estates is the third largest premium wine company in the United States. We make and produce what we consider some of the best wines in the world. Deepening that connection between the consumer and our winery and our wine is really critical to us. There are about 4,000 wineries just in the United States, and you're also competing with all the wineries in Italy, France, but the rest of the world. How do we get consumers to pick up our wine? Our challenge is not the first time they buy our wine. Our challenge is to get them to buy it twice, three times, four times, really have a loyal consumers in the years to come. We have an edge because we have all of our amazing properties across the U.S., starting with Chateau Saint-Michel, where uh, we have close to half a million people visiting us every year. Our properties in Napa, where we have hundreds of thousands of people coming to us and who want to engage with our brands, who want to taste our products. Having technology to support a remarkable guest experience is critical. Dynamics 365 Commerce will allow us to see a 360 degree view. We'll be able to see if they purchased online. At one of our other properties, we'll be able to see if they're a member of one of our clubs. And we'll be able to curate a much more customized guest experience. The other thing is really creating that wow factor. You can use Dynamics 365 for line busting. You can use it for mobile POS throughout the tasting room. By the time you get to the front door, our goal is that we will have your wine waiting for you. We're really also focused on how can we attract and convert guests through the digital channels. If we're able to double our share of direct-to-consumers, we'll be unlocking tens of millions of dollars. Dynamics 365 Commerce is a key step. We're very passionate about creating a great guest services experience. What we've done is partnered with Microsoft on AI and data science and programming to bring that together and give that seamless, frictionless experience to our consumer.